And then uh, Sexy Chew put it in as a question mark. <laughs> and I've seen Sexy Chew do that. That's pretty standard. Okay. I've never seen Animal Kingdom have his tag as not Animal K. Or AK. Or Kingdom. AK, yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see, so, let's see this. Let's see the cat. Really good spacing on that back air. And forward air. Yes. And I'm... Oh, 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 boy. oh okay. All right. All yeah. Right. Honestly, okay, so Sexy Chew's actually doing really well just kind yeah. of rolling him out right now. He's, he's definitely playing a game of footsies and, like, not overextending, especially because revenge. Oh, yeah. Revenge even, is just revenge. Even if Sexy Chew takes the lead, he's never technically winning anymore with this character. Yeah, Incineroar does have... It's a lot like Ganondorf, honestly. Just get a couple of good hits and good to go. Uh, Pretty much every character AK plays is like that. He plays yes. uh, Lucario, which is, like, a sterling example. Oh, yes. man, he actually did camp him out. Until he ran out of limit there. I don't know if you saw that. I I mean, I saw that tail end of it with the limit actually going away, but like... It, hey, that's a valid strat. These are really solid footsies. It looks like uh, Sexy Ooh. Chew's pretty familiar with the matchup. It's either that or Animal Kingdom is just, you know, playing super patiently and like really trying to I think figure out what uh, Sexy Chew's going for. Animal K definitely wants to win this tournament. Oh, um, absolutely. Yeah. He's still... Everybody wants to. I did. <laughs> well, I did. You know, you, that, you wanted to. <laughs> Whether you did or not, it's, yeah. you wanted to. Like, that's why we're here. That's true. That's true. I'm just here for. I was here for doubles. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I was here for technically both. <laughs> Anyways, uh, both characters are at a solid. It's pretty even. Percent. That's a good neutral. Oh, oh wow. wow! Unfortunate. Yeah. No aerial drift coming from clouds up. Honestly, that was a. That right. was, what is that? Was that four rolls or was it three? It doesn't uh, matter. I mean, it didn't matter, obviously. <laughs> uh, but uh, honestly, the back on that neutral air, that was just really good at, like, baiting out our early recovery from Cloud. Well, and if, well. even if, if, so, if Cloud was close enough to the stage, he would have been hit by that neutral air, too. So exactly. It was, like, a really good option. Yeah, it was definitely a good option. I, I didn't quite see what uh, he took the per oh my God. stock with, he but... He knows where to do revenge. Oh my God. Do you God. see the percentage difference? Danae, you shouldn't feel sorry for your <laughs> <laughs> No, he shouldn't feel sorry at all. He's the, Incineroar is a character in this game, and he's picking Incineroar. Oh, man. It's not I, his fault. I, I hope Sora is a lot like Smash Bros. Bayo. I... I'm picking okay, him. Okay, so <laughs> we can talk about that after the set, but uh, I, I do have a thing you have that an opinion I saw. On it. Okay. Right? Well, no, it's not even an opinion. It's uh, something that people saw in Robin Gordon, and, and like I saw that too. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, that's a thing to count against Sora there. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. We'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Uh, what is it? All right, so it looks like Animal K is just kind of staying under him, uh, fishing for up airs. Yep. So he can <laughs> double up, up air as I say that. Yeah. Good landing forward air from Sexy Chew. Um, oh, Animal Kingdom just one. runs up and revenges. He knows. Ooh, he really tried to armor through that. Uh, forcing the high recovery with the limit blade beam. That, that's a... Blade beam? Blade beam? <laughs> blade beam. Bade beam. Bay blade. <laughs> oh, no, that's uh, Aegis. Oh, yeah, true, true. Yeah. Oh, good Ooh. floor here. Coming out of Sexy Chew, he's actually Ooh, playing this the, incredibly well. The revenge on the... Yeah, Cloud just does go for Play Beam. Oh, uh, one stack of revenge isn't... It's, uh, okay, but two, we have two. That's two. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, he wanted to roll back and get another one. He literally did. He's toying with him now, I think. Cause it, <sighs> well, he no, likes to... it, he's still playing it safe, just being at 177. Like... Well, I, I play with Danae a lot. He comes over to my house, we do friendlies. Yeah. Um, or Animal Kingdom. Sorry, stream. And he'll get three stacks and then break your shield. If oh, he, yeah, yeah. If he lands with aerial neutral B on your shield, you cannot break out of it, even with Mario's right. up B. So, honestly, at this point, I'm surprised that... Uh... Wait, did he lose the revenge? Oh, he lost he revenge, did. yeah. He did. I think, I mean, I think it's 35% and you lose Something it. like that. Or just one throw, which is weird. I like that, though. Cause <laughs> it's... Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it's definitely nice to have That's a counterplay it. to um, revenge. It might not be it. Actually. I mean, he was only at 23 without revenge. <laughs> I, looked at, I looked at Animal Kingdom's percent when I said that. So oh, yeah, the full... Re oh, I, I oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. He's just choosing to use revenge just to not die at this point. Like, he said 203. Uh, the forward tilt, not going to oh take it. Animal gosh. Kingdom with immaculate DI. Oh, that side B clipped him. Or not side B, up B, sorry. Animal Wait, Kingdom. Does he still have revenge? He still has revenge. That's, That's it. Dead. That's death. That, that was easily death. He was. He had no chance to do anything there. Nope. 
He could have, uh, no, no, he couldn't even unplug, uh, Animal Kingdom's controller because he's his <laughs> <still laughs> <his> controller. <laughs> that was the optimal move right there, yeah. just to just knock the controller out of his hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's like, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. So, actually, now that I thought about it, does, uh, the, uh, Grab release, like the one where he misses, like he doesn't do up or back. Right. Uh, does that actually get rid of revenge? I don't think so. Huh. Honestly, I don't think so. I think he keeps revenge. Even if he just it, even if he whips off it, of yeah. it. That's interesting. I know Ooh, he keeps we've revenge. We've got a green incident right now. I he think... does this sometimes. I don't know. A nice parry. He knew exactly when to let go of shield there. I mean, I've heard that Cloud, you can kind of just parry. It, like, Cloud is a great character to parry against. Like, just based lot, on most of his moves. A lot of sword characters are. Um, I especially mean, like, Robin. I, <laughs> Rob, Robin, too. Because sword characters, they... Uh, you may not know this, but even with Robin, if you land with back air, you can get your your move to be negative nine on shield. If you perfectly yeah. land it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, Robin's aerials are not that safe on shield. Or but like, I, I think that one of your aerials can be minus six, which is the same as, like, DDD neutral air. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, as Robin, if I see that shield's going off too much, Nosferatu is free. Yeah, no, you can be like, reverse it and it mixes people. reverse it, or just even land on it, or land on their shield with Nosferatu and it just works. Anyway, this is a very close game so far. Yes. Um, we're seeing these characters, these players pick each other apart and kind of figure each other out. Honestly, Something... oh, that was a good fourth throw. That was a good fourth throw. I, they're... It, you don't really see that throw kill too much. Honestly, he might have been DI'ing that poorly. I mean, though we do have plenty of rage on Incineroar, yeah, that's true. Incineroar is not that uh, much of a slouch. Yeah, Incineroar's got three kill throws, basically. Yep. The only one that isn't is down throw, right? <laughs> yeah. And then it kind of is, because at certain percentages, it true combos in a forwarder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Or if you you catch your opponent sleeping, you can just chew combo it into down air off stage. He likes to, Animal Kingdom likes to uh, down throw and then just for, charge your forward smash. If you air dodge or push a button, you just land into it and oh, get sweet yeah. spotted. I mean, I'm sure that, oh, there's the forward, I think, that, was that the first forward smash we've seen the entire set? I, he must have heard me say forward smash. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, he made it back, dang. let's go. That, that, was, that, was, that was a really good backer, but limit uh, climb hazard's gonna save uh, Sexy Chew there. That was good. That kept yeah. him. That kept him in the game. Because if Absolutely. Animal K took the stock there, he would have ran away with it. It would have. It would have been, oh my gosh. That's gonna I mean, be a stock. Yeah. Ninety-eight percent near ledge. So. Oh, oh that's two. God. That's two. He knows. He knows. He'll do it twice in a row sometimes just to test you. Jeez. And just jump. Oh, oh my, my ah. goodness. I, I'm getting secondhand uh, anxiety here. <laughs> <laughs> like. It's, I think he's doing this because he knows he's on stream and people can see the kind of degeneracy he's putting out there. I wouldn't even call it degeneracy at this <laughs> point. Like he hasn't he hasn't actually hit a forward smash yet. I he's he's looking for his moment. i I mean I'm sure. <laughs> he's just charging it with the, uh, revenge. Oh my oh, god, yeah, that beat his back air completely. And that is gonna be a stark 2-0 from Animal oh, Kingdom absolutely. against Sexy Chew. Good games, boys. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think he just used it to low profile the backer. I, the hurtbox shifting, yeah. all of Incineroar's moves yeah. hurtbox shift him. 